You know, as much as I love the action text component in Ruby on Rails, uh, I really am not such a big fan of the tricks library that they use under the hood. Um, I just don't like how it's so heavy handed on the design and the implementation. You know, on this project, it's actually breaking the layout. Uh, I find that it's not very uh, mobile friendly. And I also found that it doesn't really work well with dark mode. You, know, you can't even see the buttons. So I gave it a redesign. And here it is. So it's much cleaner. And it's nice and flexible for whatever project that I'm working on. So my custom, so my custom designed tricks component is going to go into this project and it's going to go into my template for all of my future projects that I work on. It is nice and mobile friendly. It stacks on mobile and it works with dark mode. And since I really like to use the font awesome icons library, I implemented that instead of the built in background images that tricks uh, builds in by default. So I have total control over the, uh, the icons that are being used and um, the size and the coloring of, of everything. And uh, I think it works really well. So let me show you a little bit under the hood. In my form, I just added a data controller. That's a stimulus controller that I created. I'm using that to swap out the contents of each button with uh, the the icon class, which is or the icon element, which gets replaced as an SVG element. That comes from uh, Font Awesome. So I went through each of the buttons and I'm just replacing uh, the contents with that tag. Um, I can customize which icon I'm using for each one. I'm, I also put FA style into a variable so that I can choose you know, which of Font Awesome's styles, and I can just set that in one place. And I also implemented some custom CSS. So first I had to sort of like undo some of the, uh, some of like the heavy handed stuff built into tricks. I had to use some important attributes for those. Um, and then I added some Tailwind CSS uh, to make things a little bit more flexible, more mobile friendly, uh, light and dark mode is applied. And it also applies my colors for the current project. And I can easily swap out those colors in my Tailwind config without even touching all this uh, customization stuff that I put in here. So it's nice and flexible. Uh, that's now in my app template. I'm going to use it on this and all of my future projects. And that's my customization of the Trix rich text editor in Ruby on Rails.